Alright, it's Tuesday Treadmill Talks today. Let's get down to it. Um, not a lot of videos have been coming out lately, and I'll tell you why. Well, there's a couple reasons. One, the main reason was the prep for college. I started, uh, yesterday was my first day back. And I'm... I did the uh, credit count, and I'm about halfway done with community college and getting my associate's degree. Halfway. Now, with another 14, I, it's a 60 unit degree. With another 14 units, I will be well on my way to finishing up. So, in about three semesters, it looks like. I need, to, I'll be done and switching to a different school, a bigger school. Um, that's been going on. Also, I had a big switcheroo. I dropped my business writing class because I didn't need it and took up health and wellness because unfortunately I need that. You gotta have one of those stupid health credits. Now to me, a class like that is fucking useless. Why do you ask? Because you should already know how to eat properly and exercise. That should be common sense to most people. But unfortunately at the college age it is not and thus it has to be there. It's either that or life management. I took that in high school and I said fuck that. Uh, technically I took health but at my school they combined it with driver's ed why I don't know but um, you took them both in the same semester so you had health for maybe three weeks and driver's ed the rest of the time but that is neither here nor there uh, and then nextly I got a girlfriend and I've been hanging out with her quite a bit and now Dylan wanted me to do a legend podcast yesterday and I told him no I've been telling him no since Gen Con so I haven't felt like doing a Legends podcast. It's not really a whole lot to talk about except for Kenny Baker's death. That's about it. And I don't really want to make a podcast about death. I don't. Um. Yeah. Well, that's pretty much that. Uh, what I've been reading. Well, I've been trying to catch up on Rebirth. Read quite a bit of it not read all of it. I have, I'm caught up on Manifest Destiny, Aliens Defiance, not part of Rebirth, but I read those. Manifest Destiny 22 was really good. Aliens Defiance number three was fucking weird. I don't know what's up with the series. It doesn't flow like an alien story. And it's a detriment to it, but also a good thing. Because this next month we're going to have Aliens Life and Death, and Aliens Defiance. But Aliens Defiance is not crossing over with Life and Death. So we're going to have two Aliens books coming out at the same time. For the next, like, four months. So that's going to be interesting. Um, what else has been going down? Ugh, with the reading... See, I've read I've read Action Comics, so I think that comes out this week, so I'll be able to read that. Aquaman, I'm entire, I'm completely caught up on. It was Batgirl and the Birds of Prey was the last Rebirth issue I read. Batgirl and the Birds of Prey number one, which is pretty damn good. Um, let's see. I think I was about to start reading Detective Comics next. I got lazy. I've been busy. So that's probably what I will read next. So I'll probably take those issues to work today. And Well, actually, I close tonight, so I have the hour lunch, which means I get to go home and eat. Yeah, payday's Thursday, which means I can renew my Audible account. Get my next audiobook from Audible. Um, 
buy comics on Friday. So unfortunately this week I can't make it to the shop on Wednesday because no money. And I can do probably the most important thing right now, just pay off my Final Fantasy 15 pre-order. I have the deluxe edition. So I traded in No Man's Sky, which I'll do a can rant about. And I did that. I got new my um, the new Final Fantasy 15. Well, I've been paying it off very slowly. I was about halfway done with it, and I traded it in. They're like, "Oh, you have like 20 bucks left." So, with the new Final Fantasy coming out, that's got gameplay like Kingdom Hearts, apparently, which is kind of the reason I'm buying it because I we're not going to get Kingdom Hearts anytime soon or another remaster for the PS4, then I might as well buy this and get some of that out of my system. I mean, let's face it. I don't... Final Fantasy is so boring with its turn-based stuff. It bores the fuck out of me. I'd rather play a completely action-oriented RPG like Legend of Zelda or Kingdom Hearts or Skyrim, anything... Fallout New Vegas, anything like that that's action oriented, as opposed to turn base. Turn base to me is boring. It's like trying to play a video game of Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, I love Dungeons and Dragons, but that's different. That's all in your imagination. This is on the screen, and thus is boring. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this Tuesday treadmill talks. Oh! Oh, I almost forgot. I need to give off, give out the uh, review section for this, the next coming book reviews. Because it's official now. It means I actually have to fucking do it. We got The Elf Stones of Shannara is the next review coming out. Followed by Aftermath Life Debt. Of course, these are the two you knew. Then, ABP, Fire and Stone, Predator, Fire and Stone, Prometheus, Fire and Stone, Omega. So we will finish Fire and Stone, finally. Since life and death is about half over, we need to get on with those Fire and Stone reviews. And I'll probably do an overview of that whole event, just to remind people of the other two reviews I did. Um... Talking, then, The Woods, Volumes 1 and 2. So I'm going to start a retrospective series about how I always read the first volume of something and never continue it. And how I am starting to, since I'm a little burnt out on Star Wars right now, because there's just so much Star Wars shit going on, I'm just going back and I'm reading a lot of these comics that I started that I never finished. And mainly has to do with the comics all the shit sale of the woods. I brought bought the four volumes that are out now. And then with Morning Glories, I managed to buy volume two before I was like, oh I have no money. Damn, I can't buy all of Morning Glories. Otherwise I fucking would have, because I've been waiting for a Morning Glories sale for a year. But yeah, this gives me the opportunity to do things do a lot of my image series, like Morning Glories and Man. I could talk about Manifest Destiny even. Um, Walking Dead, that's a big one. Though I did read past Volume One of Walking Dead, but I have not. I am not caught up on Walking Dead. Um, Hack Slash. Oh, jeez. Saga. I mean, things that aren't image, like the woods, and just all kinds of shit like that. Hell, we could even do big two books, like New 52 Nightwing. I liked that first volume and never continued it. There's only five volumes in that series. Or uh, Batman and Robin. Or Batman The Dark Knight, Volume 1. That's a D&J review. We could continue that. I ever got Devin got off his lazy ass. I also got a jukebox. A jukebox. 
he's Snapchatting about it yet last night, and I'm like, what the fuck? Anyway, uh, lastly, I'm thinking about starting to do movie and TV show reviews. Why, you may ask? Because it's something I've wanted to do for a very long time, and I don't know, I think I could boon, uh, do a slightly new spit on it, so I can make it my own. But mainly, I want to do a Highlander retrospective, because Highlander is hitting its 30th anniversary, coming up in December, and I've been recently... I recently bought Highlander 2 and 3. I watched those, along with the first one. And this paycheck, I'm probably getting the entire Highlander TV series. And maybe Highlander the Raven, the spin-off show, the last of the season. And if that's... I still have money after that and some textbooks that I don't have yet. Um, I'll get Highlander 4 and 5. And probably the anime, the animated series. Because they're so fucking cheap on Amazon. They really are. I was like, Jesus Christ, Jeremy, that's a lot of money. No, actually, it's about $160. I'm serious. That's how much it is for all the stuff I don't have. Because of, uh, it's just not that popular. And it bothers me. Highlander's so awesome. I mean, some of the movies are trash. Highlander Raven is probably trash too, but Highlander TV show is awesome. Um, Highlander 1 is awesome. Highlander 2 Renegade version is actually pretty good. Highlander 3, pretty good. Um, Highlander 4 is fucking shit. Highlander 5, ooh, Sci-Fi Channel can suck a butt on that one. Anyway, that's my... Tuesday Treadmill Talks for this week. I'll upload this one. It's been a while, but hey, it's good to be back. Have a nice day.